Hello everyone, this is a little bit of a tutorial video on how to draw and stuff like that and being able to do it traditionally because I do wonder if sometimes it's good to use traditional mediums just because it kind of brings it more closer to home this way. I'm using a sketchbook that funny enough I purchased a little while ago um, when I was in the face of marker pens and such. If you're curious about what kind of pad this is, this is a Fibercastle mixed media pad. It's meant to be really good for marker pens and for most mediums really, so marker pens, inks, uh, watercolour, coloured pencil, you name it, it should work for literally everything. This has practically been unused, I think I may have ripped a page out of this at one point. But yeah, anyway guys, uh, I'm gonna pretty much test this out and see how it all goes. It's a little bit of a weird setup, a little bit different to the usual or any other uh, camera angle that I've done before. So yeah, um, since it is Inktober I figured that I should just start making a video on how to draw something. Um, so I was planning on doing a video about Kirby. <laughs> Whether I want to do that for this one, I don't know. There's a reason why I wanted to do one for Kirby, for not just the fact that Kirby is adorable and very cute, but I do think that he's actually a very good all-round character to practice with, um, without going too in too much detail as to why. I guess you could consider this as a bit of a test casual kind of let's draw video. So you're kind of seeing the, um, I suppose, the first stages of me trying to figure out how the tutorial videos are going to work. Regardless, I'm going to fish out some pens to see if we can work with them. Uh, for anyone who's curious, these are Winsor & Newton marker pens. I've had these for a very long time now. I'm hoping they haven't dried out or anything like that. In comparison to getting Copic markers, these are actually quite good in a sense. Like I got a pack of these, especially these pale ones. I think there's about six in the pack. You can get six in the pack for about £10 on Amazon. At least that was the last time that I uh, got them. If you were to go to a place like Hobbycraft or uh, I don't know what the American equivalent would be, but usually you can get them in stationery shops or you know even art shops in general. They these are really good in terms of price. I feel very good budget ones that I use and like using. I will say though that these particular ones, the Pro Marker, it has quite a um, a bit of a point to them. If you can see that, usually, especially Copics. God, you can smell them. <laughs> um, Usually Copics have like a brush to them. I think I actually have a marker pen that has a brush on. There is a different kind of Winsor & Newton you can get where it does have a brush nib. Um, but yeah, I didn't know about that at the time when I was buying these. And I don't think they actually have them in these colours either. Unless they have actually expanded their range since I last bought these. Uh, so yeah, I have some colour pencils too. But I tend to use these not to sketch with, but to actually do shading with. Now you may think, well, why would I need shading if I got these marker pens? Well, I can show you <laughs> at some point if I get around to actually colouring the thing. Unipin pens like this is actually really good. I, I prefer using these. Um, I tend to go between the 0 0.1 and 0 0.2. Mostly 0 0.1. This is kind of like a backup if I don't have this anymore, but this is usually what I would ink with because I am the kind of person who prefers to kind of like go over it very finely and then I go over it again to clean up the line and stuff. So that's probably what we're going to end up using for this one. So this is a buttercup, so another, so that's kind of like a pale yellow. Slowly getting together all of the, uh, there we go, meadow green pale colours here. I think that's what I want to kind of start off with. Like, I would actually recommend that if any of you wanted to start off with marker pens, uh, get the pale ones first. Don't go too mad with the fluorescent 
markers that are out there, you know, like the really bright or very sort of saturated darker colours. You, you would think, but pale is a bit meh, but just take it from me, it's better to start off with the pale colours. It's also nice to work with them really. And to be honest, you can get very far with these colours. We're still missing one, I think. God, I've got lots of colour pencils here, I didn't actually really know that. I don't know if it really matters to know which colours I'm using here, but I'm not. I'm certainly not going to be using all of these. But yeah, for anyone again, these are poly polychromous colour pencils. I've had these for years actually, uh, ever since kind of like, huh. definitely in college, I couldn't tell you when in college, but I remember these being about £36 for like a big tin of them. Uh, they're very good and they have lasted me for years, <laughs> to, uh, but to be fair I'm not really someone who uses colour pencils or too often, as you all know, that mostly my work is done in digital. And trusty little pencil sharpener. Oh, there we go, there's the last colour. So, pale blue. So like I say, you can get a pack of six of these, particularly these pale colours, for about £10, maybe a little bit more now, I'm not sure if they would have increased in price, but honestly and truthfully, if you really want to get into marker pens, I would recommend these big time. So, trusty little mechanical pencil. These are really good, like especially if you're someone who's who doesn't like to use like normal standard pencil and you like the feel of pen. These these are actually quite a good transition. I like to use these anyway. I'm not actually sure what lead this is. I'm going to assume that it's say HB lead. And we got some more 0 0.1 uni pens. I do like the setup, I will say, because if I really wanted to, I could kind of like. If I had to show you something, I can just do this, so you can actually see what they are. I got a nice set of these on Amazon, these mechanical pencils, I think I had about three, three of these, and it came with loads of leads, loads of them. I like that little nib there, that's a lead. And it came with two of these rubbers, and these are great. It looks a bit manky, but these are awesome rubbers. I suppose we should kind of like decide on what we're going to draw and what colours we're going to be using. I'm going to take one of these pens, because we'll be using that to ink with, and we'll put the others aside. I'm not sure if I actually explain what this is for. I tend to... Um, can you even see that? There we go. So this is a Uniball Signo Broad, as they call it. <laughs> but, it's, but it's basically a Uniball sort of white gel pen, I think. Very, very good white gel pen. I've even bought like a little pack of white ones, which were meant to be good for paint, uh, using it on paint and uh, marker pens like this. But no, it's a load of crap, and I have not seen any other gel pen do it as well as this one, honestly. I would recommend if you're looking for something to highlight your drawings with, especially good for adding shine to eyes and such, this is really good for that. So we may end up using this too. I don't know, I feel like that I should probably draw a game, video game character. I feel like Kirby might be a nice sort of ease into it all, even for myself, because it's been a long time since I've done this. And it is a little bit scary, I'll be completely honest, just going straight back into market pen work again. So we have a pale peach and we have blue, because I think his eyes are normally blue, and pale pink. I, I would actually like to try using Biro at some point. Particularly with cross hatching, because I heard that if you were to apply markers to, say, some cross hatching that that's been done in Biro, it actually bleeds the ink. And I thought, oh, that could be quite nice actually. I have a standard Biro pen, and yeah, this is a black pen, believe it or not, even though it is blue. But first, we're going to do the color one. I'll probably have to fish out some grayscale markers for the black pen one, but we'll worry about that until we get to it. Okay, so we have our ink pen here, which will be for the liner, 
the gel pen for any very slight highlights that we want to add to the drawing. And then we have a few colours, colour pencil colours here. You'll see how this works later. The main base colours we're going to be using is the markers. And we are of course going to be using our mechanical pencil to sketch out the drawing. So I'm going to put these to one side. We're going to try drawing a Kirby. 